Hi guys, in this tutorial I would like to give you a quick overview of iOS 11 and Procreate 4 and then also show you how you can use the new file app to import brushes and templates into Procreate. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing you'll notice with iOS 11 is that it has the dock here at the bottom. Um, this is similar to if you're using a Mac, similar to the dock that you have on your Mac. Um, and the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the files file explorer app here at the bottom this is new now with ios 11 and this lets you group your files you can store any file type here and you can quickly access any file from here um, so to go back into our home screen um, so you have to, to to get it into the dock you have to just drag it in and I'm just showing with a, a different app. So what you do is you drag it here and then you can place it anywhere you like. And let's put it here and then um, it's in your dock and easily accessible from any app that you're currently using. If you don't want it here, you can just move it back. What's also new is the mission control, which now swipes up from the bottom and shows you the most recently used applications and then you have all your other controls here on the side so if you want to change your brightness of your screen you can do that here volume you can change here it's got a little music um, preview control and then all your other functionality that used to be at the bottom of the screen before is now here available right there Cool, now if we want to launch Procreate, we can either tap on the Procreate icon down here or we can just go back to the app um, using Mission Control. And the first thing you see here now is that the gallery looks a little bit different. We, instead of having the groups, we now have stacks. And the nice thing about the stack is, th is that it shows you a little bit of a preview of some of the canvases inside the stack. So if you want to um, see the canvases, you tap on the stack and there is all your canvases inside the stack. To create a new stack, I choose the select button here, which brings me into edit mode. And then I select the canvases that I want to stack like this. So I just tap on them and then you'll see it'll have a little bl blue tick here. And then I just tap stack and there we go. We have a new stack. Now I click on the X to exit edit mode and it just goes back into normal mode and now I can rename this stack like this and give it a name and watercolor and there we go and now we're ready to import files and brushes okay and to do that we are going to bring up our dock from the bottom of the screen like this and then we're going to grab the files app and lock it into place on the right hand side like this and you can see now we have the split screen where we have the files app on the right hand side and we have procreate here on the left hand side so we're going to pre prepare procreate a little bit first and we're going to select the canvas to bring up our brushes menu here and you can see now the brushes menu has changed a little bit all our brushes are now vertical instead of horizontal which is actually a lot nicer because you can swipe a lot easier and you can see all the brush sets that you have and then if you swipe down just a little bit more you can see here that the new set button pops up so we're going to tap on that create a new brush set that we are going to call new like this and then leave the brushes panel open so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the files that we want to import or the brushes that we want to import um, from our from our iCloud drive and I have a, a, a folder here that has all my new brushes and I'm going to tap select and then I'm going to select the brushes that I want to import and I'm going to grab them oops I'm going to grab them like until they stack like this and then I can just drop them here and this is so much nicer and so much easier to do than previously where you had to import them all one by one manually so this is really a big time saver and then when we're done we tap done okay and then similar to the brushes we can also import the template so I'm going to go back to my gallery to show all my canvases and then I can grab my watercolor template and just drag it in here and it, it'll get imported like that and done easy right 
and now it's time to practice. All right, um, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. You can find me on Instagram under at iPad Lettering or you can contact me on my website, which is iPadLettering.com. See you soon.